right boys welcome back let's take a look at this week's hero arena week four as you know the seasonal buffed characters are now freya and the demon king but if you don't know yet next week it will be also the new margaret guys so the three teams will have a buffed unit which is great as you all know you can reset it but you can't reset them separately i think they may be adding this the next season of hero arena this will be the first team we'll be using the goddess team of course with the goddess card set you have to have the holy relic from red tarmiel because it applies an ultimate move disable effect for two turns which is very good you also need the holy relic from this red sariel because it will increase the basic stats when you inflict critical damage with him we can stack up to five times and then for the gear sets Mael is on attack crit Elizabeth is on HP critical defense Tarmiel is on defense with critical defense pieces in the middle and then Sariel is also on HP critical defense you always have to start this week at least with the, the Mael team because they don't have a seasonal buffed unit and it will make it a lot harder so you might have to restart a lot on this one so just start with this one until you finished it and then you can just clear the last two groups the first team you will be facing is the demon team and you always want to kill this uh, Meliodas first so first turn you just heal then use the AoE skill from IL and then single target and it should kill If you don't kill, just kill the next turn. And then you try to focus on getting Elizabeth ultimate. So you can heal at the end. And you try to get of course the ultimate from IL as well. If you're lucky with the cards, you can do it really quickly. Let's kill this Esterosa because we have a single target from IL. So this is easy and then we're gonna get the ultimate from Liz so we can heal before we go to the next phase you always want to finish with max health guys so that they will target Red Tarmiel. he has the lowest health because of the full defense gear with critical defense in the middle but as you can see here we are at max health so I'm just gonna kill here and then move to the next phase but if you're not at max health just get the ultimate from Liz so you can heal and then the next team is the Ragnarok team luckily this team Diane doesn't have Tarmiel link or else it wouldn't even be possible with the goddess team to kill you will notice the Ragnarok team with Diane on the second enemy her healing is so crazy, you have to use the ultimate from Freya to kill. So here we heal with Liz again, and then we're gonna focus on this Diane. If you manage to crit everything with the AoE, we just missed one crit, unfortunately. But if you manage to crit every hit with the AoE on the end, you can actually kill the first turn. This is so weird, guys. I didn't understand why she was uh, focusing on Sariel. I don't understand this. But it doesn't matter. Let's just heal and then kill this uh, Diane now. And then attack seal Freya. You still have to watch out for Sigurd. Because Sigurd is actually pretty crazy. If he got his ultimate and he can ult you, he will kill any units. So you try to get rid of this Brunhild or Sigurd, one of the two. 
but I always try to get rid of Brunhild first. Here let's just heal and then get the ultimate from Tarmiel so we can kill next turn. We still have another heal from Liz and this will make it very easy so we can finish with max health. Be careful guys with uh, Brunhild because her whole relic is that she can only be debuffed once. So once she gets the ultimate, she will probably be able to use it instantly. So try to kill her once she gets the ultimate. But as you can see here, we're just gonna heal and then kill everyone. Pretty easy. You have to get lucky with the cards guys. If you aren't lucky, it's just not the same. We did manage to kill pretty quickly here. I'm sorry I couldn't upload this past two days because I had so much work to do at home with family and at work of course so I didn't really have the time to edit the videos but luckily I did manage to play the hero arena and finish it so now I can finally edit this guide I will try to drop as many videos as I can this weekend and don't forget guys next week the new seasonal Margaret will come out on Tuesday morning or Monday evening it depends on where you are in the world. She is the new Nidhogger unit, guys, which is actually insane from Nidmarble. They made her a seasonal unit and she only works with goddesses. So it's a bit strange. So I think, in my opinion, there might be even coming another Nidhogger unit, maybe a Ragnarok one. I hope so, but yeah, we will see. As you can see, the first turn on this team, you always have to kill Rimu first. If you don't kill him first turn, if... Uh, he puts up his taunt here, like you see here, then um, you're actually screwed. You have to be able to kill that remove first turn, or else you will have to restart. Luckily we did get the ultimate from Liz, so now we can heal and then the next two turns I think, she will keep healing the whole team a bit more which is pretty good. We managed to get the Mael ultimate here, which is also very good. And we got two heal cards, but they will uh, merge. Don't forget if you got a rank two heal card from Liz, it will give one orb to everyone in your team. So let's do this here. And just move one card. We will kill everyone here, but you can attack once into Escanor again, because he has three flames but you don't want to attack two times after killing because he will do damage and then you can't heal so don't forget that guys always keep him at least at two flames and then you just heal and then kill so you can move to the next team with max health Then for the next team, it is the Mael team, which can be pretty annoying as well. You try to focus on killing Margaret or Tarmiel first, because those two are pretty annoying. The buffs and the cleanses from Margaret, but especially the remove ultimate move gauge from Tarmiel is insane. You can't get the ultimate, you will always remove it. So try to focus on them. First turn you heal, as always, and then you try to do as much damage as possible to maybe Margaret, as I will do here. My health is pretty high, so I'm just gonna use the buff this time, and then AoE with Mael and single target with Mael, so we can kill her in one turn. 
if you can get rid of Margaret's instantly, it's actually the best. So if you can do this, try and do this. But if uh, Tarmiel puts up his taunt, you might want to focus on Tarmiel instead. Mael probably has the rank 2 here, so what I'm gonna do is try and attack seal him. Let's see if it works. And let's get the ultimate from Liz as well. Mael had a lot of attacks as you can see, so luckily we did attack seal him. Or else he can just kill anyone he wants, especially with rank 2 single target. This is pretty unfortunate here, because Mael has the ultimate, but luckily this Mael is not 6-6, so he won't wipe the team. But he can still do a lot of damage. Don't forget that, guys. So I'm just gonna use the ultimate from Liz here, so we can keep healing a bit more at the end of the turn. And then focus on the star mill. Unfortunately, the star mill didn't die yet, so he will probably remove the ultimate moves. As you can see, a rank 3, guys. Oh my god, luckily we did survive. That's insane. A rank 3 single target from Mael is pretty dangerous. So luckily we were able to survive this. The ultimate from Sariel won't kill Mael. Let's focus instead on this Tarmiel. And it still didn't kill. Damn, I hope the single target from Tarmiel will kill him. Luckily we did have a rank 2 heal from Liz, so we could get the ultimate from Tarmiel and also Mael, which is pretty good. And we will heal everything back, as you can see. The ultimate from Liz is actually pretty insane. So here let's heal once more just to be sure, but it wasn't even necessary. And then just kill with Mael ult. This is a pretty good run, but I had to redo it about, I think, what was it, 14 times? It was a bit frustrating. I wasn't lucky with the cards I got and the cards my enemies had, so they uh, killed my tower mill way too much. Try to finish every team with max health. This team is not that tanky guys, but uh, they will do a lot of damage. That's why you need max health. As you can see. Here, Liz took the most damage. So they will probably actually focus on this Liz now. I always kill this Roxy first, because their single target is way too strong. So here let's heal and then focus on the green unit here. Because she's the buffer for this team. And then try to kill that mono. Because Mano is pretty strong. Don't forget that this green unit here, forgot her name, but uh, this green unit will also remove ultimate move gauges if she has a rank 2 AoE. And then she will remove it from everyone. Which is pretty annoying. But my L is insane. As you can see, we almost killed everyone here.
So we actually finished with max health, which was not necessary because this was the last team, but... And then you just move to the next two teams. We're gonna move to the middle one, and this is the tier team you're gonna use. With the seasonal buff Freya. Of course we're using the damage decrease card set for Ragnaroks. The only unit on attack crit is this tier here. You'll have to put those critical defense pieces in the middle. So Nanashi HP critical defense, Freya attack critical defense, and then Freya also attack critical defense. Here you got to get lucky guys, because I wasn't lucky at all. And just try to put the units the way you're seeing here, it's better. So the attacks from Nanashi can merge as well. Because he will have to heal a lot more than the rest of the units. But uh, I wasn't that lucky with this run guys. I will have to use two teams instead of one. You can do it with one guys. But if Diane on the Ragnarok team gets her ultimate. She will wipe guys. It's insane. Only Freya and Tyr will stay alive. But uh, if you don't have Freya. And he can't use his ultimate to kill that Diane. You will have to use another team. Which I will do here. Unfortunately. But I was not gonna restart again. I already did it 14 times with my L team. So I was not gonna restart. As you can see the first turn. We just killed that uh, Merlin. But guys. It is actually better to kill Rimuru first. I thought I would be able to kill Rimuru and Merlin, but uh, no, I wasn't able to do it. So that's pretty unfortunate. If you're not lucky and Rimuru has another AOE, which is an infect, that would be pretty bad, but we were lucky here. It didn't have another AOE. So let's now just kill this Rimuru. But as you can see, it's better to use a Freyr attack first to get through the shield because I wanted to heal with uh, Nanashi. Don't forget you try to heal as much as you can with this team before you move to the next phase. Especially with Nanashi. Because you want to keep your Nanashi as long as possible. So here we're gonna kill Fairy King and then heal a bit with Nanashi. Now we have the ultimate from Nanashi but it's better not to use the ultimate because Tyr also has to heal. Don't forget that Tyr, the first turn, he has a taunt. So he has to have the max health, guys. So we're gonna use the AoE from Nanashi to heal a bit and then kill with Tyr. So Tyr has the max health at least. But this team is pretty good, guys. The only team you will have to get lucky on is the Ragnarok team with Diane. If Diane managed to get her ultimate and she uses the ultimate, Freya will probably die, like I will have here. My Nanashi and Freya will die. So because of that, I won't be able to kill Diane and I will have to use another team for the last two teams. But if you manage to get where I got and it's just Diane left, you could just make the team I made here. Or a pretty similar team. And then you can just ult rush on the last team and then kill. Okay, here you actually want to kill this Mael first. So let's use the AoE to heal with Nanashi. And then the two strongest single targets we have. So now the biggest threat is gone. Mael is gone. So now you focus on Margaret or on Tarmil. One of both is good. And don't forget guys, try to attack with the units that have the lowest health so they can heal. Let's get the ultimate from Nanashi and then kill that Liz. If we are able to, I'm not sure. Tarmiel will remove the ultimate of course, but that doesn't matter. My Freyr has the lowest health, so I should be attacking with Freyr. So 
So I'm going to attack with his strongest attack. Instead of that one. So we can heal a bit. Luckily this Freya with her buff. The seasonal buff is insane. She can do a lot of damage. Now we're just gonna try and heal with Nanashi and also with Tyr. So let's just kill with Tyr here so everyone is at max health. But this week, the only team that is actually a bit hard is the Mayel team. The first one you use. But uh, once you use the tier team and the demon team with the two buffed units, it's pretty easy. Then we're facing the demon team with this Meliodas. Always try to kill that Meliodas first, because he can actually one-shot any of your units with a single target skill. Especially after two turns, he'll be way too strong. So just kill him first turn. So as you can see, we're just gonna use all the stronger single targets we got. But it's not even needed. He's already dead after two attacks. Which is pretty good. Then you actually want to focus on my last killer, but uh, now this Chandler has the lowest health, so I'm gonna kill him first. But my last killer, if you don't know, she will give 20% basic stats to all these demons. So it's better to kill her first. Chandler has his ultimate, so we have to kill him now before he can use the ultimate. So we do this and then we kill. Pretty easy. But it's the next team guys, the Ragnarok team with that Diane. it's insane. You don't have an Infect card on your team, so you can't seal her healing. And if you don't have the ultimate from Freyr, yeah, you won't kill. You could use the ultimate from Freyr at even 2-6 with the ultimate from Freya. And if you just use the ultimate from Freya, when they still have 4 units on the field, you will do a lot more damage on this DN because that DN is insane if she gets her ultimate she's 6-6 she will just wipe most of your units especially if you're not max health I was trying to get the ultimate from Freyr as fast as I could but I was too late which is not good So here we're gonna face this team. I really hate this team. The healing on this DN is insane. If you do like 70k damage, she will probably heal 62k back. It's insane. You can't kill her. You have to use a death ultimate. That's why Freya is so good. So here we're first gonna kill this Brunhild because she is pretty annoying. And we're gonna heal a bit with all these units, with all our units. But that was pretty stupid not to heal with Freyr because he is the most important one. And actually now I just had to focus on killing Sigurd and then just wait until I had the ultimate from Freyr. But I was actually pretty, yeah, I think I was just too tired. I was pretty stupid what I was doing here. So 
So instead of focusing on the Sigurd, I focused on Freya, which is not good because once Sigurd and Runehild are gone, Freya doesn't do any damage. And as you can see here, the end gets the ultimate. We're just gonna kill that Sigurd because it's the only, only one we can kill. But uh, we were screwed here. I couldn't believe the damage that the end did. I had to heal with Freya so she could stay alive, but I thought my Freya was gonna definitely stay alive, but he did not. Look at this guys, look at their ultimate. Bro. I was so pissed here. So yeah, because of this, I had to choose another team. And this will be the team we'll be using with the demon card set for LR Melee. You could just put instead of LR Melee, Ultimate Escanor of course. And then you can just use the card set that boosts HP for humans. LR Melee is on HP critical damage. The only unit. Bon is on HP critical defense, Diane is on HP critical defense, and no gear set for Frodon, of course, because this is the Alt Rush Frodon. We want him to die. And the reason also why I was using this Meliodas is because you do need a unit that has an infect card. So that is the reason why I was using him. I forgot. So instead of him, you could put another unit that has an infect card, but you will have to use a unit with an infect card. So don't mind me saying ultimate Eskinor, don't use him. He could work also with his finger, but maybe ultimate Eskinor and then next to him Roxy, that might work. But I think they will die uh, against this team. This is the last team, the unknown team, and they're pretty insane. But uh, if you can ult rush, you can just wipe with the barn ultimate or the melee ultimate. Here they're gonna kill with the first attack, it's the infect attack. They will kill Frodon, so it will cleanse and give us all the ultimates. But don't forget guys, if a unit dies, you, they won't make any room. So you won't get the ultimates now. You will have to taunt with the end first and do some damage. And I'm gonna do damage with Meliodas because he's really strong. Because you don't actually need two ultimates. You just need the ultimate from Bon and it will kill this team. And then we can finally move to the last enemies. And that team is with the new Demon King. And believe me guys, it's so easy with the Demon King. If your Purgatory Melee stays alive and the Demon King, you could actually kill even the three last teams. It's insane. They just have to stay alive and it's good. Those two units are way too crazy. Especially the Demon King now with his buff. It's insane. So now the last team is this team it's the same as previously but instead of Zeldris we're gonna put the Demon King and of course we're running the Demon card set Meliodas is on HP critical damage Demon King is on HP critical defense this is my gear set for PvP the same for Melaskula HP critical defense and no gear set for this red Matrona because you want her to die the quickest and you want her to be focused on first But with uh, Purgatory Melee and the Demon King, you don't have to stress. It's really easy. You just don't want your Demon King to die, guys. That's the only thing. If your Demon King dies, yeah, you might have to use another team again for this one. It's all about luck, Hero Arena, especially on the highest difficulty. I have 10.5 million bucks, you see, guys. And I think 10 million is a requirement to get... Uh, this done. So if you have like 8 million boxes, see, I don't even think you can do this, but I don't know. You might uh, want to try. As you can see, Meliodas and Demon King, very strong. 
can actually kill any unit you want first turn. They're insane. Don't forget guys, with this team, you want to kill every team in three turns. So try to get the melee ultimate or the demon king ultimate, one of those two, within the three turns. Because afterwards the passive from Alaska will be gone on Matrona and she will die. And you don't want that. At the last three teams it's not that uh, big of a deal. But the first team you want her to survive so... Always try to ult rush with or the Demon King or Meliodas. Then we got the Mayel team. And this one can be pretty annoying if Tarmiel puts up his stance the first turn. But with this team it's not that bad, it doesn't matter. So here Mael attacks two times of course. Luckily he will attack his single target into Matrona. And then the AoE from Margaret. But now you just want to kill this Tarmiel first because you want to use the ultimate from Purgatory Melee or the Demon King. So try to kill him first. Always attack first with the single target from Meliodas to do the most damage and then just finish it off with the Demon King and he will be dead. Even without the buff and even on HP critical defense the Demon King will kill him. Don't worry. And then you just try to focus on or Margaret or if you have single targets from the Demon King could actually kill Mael. But again, it's ult rushing guys. We have one more turn left so we're gonna get the ultimate from Melee here. And we're gonna have his buff ready. And then we just taunt with Matrona just to be sure. If you can't taunt it doesn't matter. They will attack Matrona anyway. And then we're just gonna kill with Purgatory Melee. Pretty straightforward, pretty easy. These last two enemies with the two buffed units are very easy. And don't forget that next week, when Margaret drops, we will have three seasonal buffed units. So also the Mael team will have that buffed unit. So it's gonna be way easier. You could run that Margaret instead of Red Sariel and you will just, yeah, wipe the whole team. On this team you want to have everyone at max health, guys. If you don't have max health, you might lose units, especially Melaskula. But luckily my units are at max health here. But it's the next team. The next team we're gonna face with Rimuru. You want to kill Rimuru first turn, so he can't remove the passive from Melaskula on Matrona. But it is possible. As you can see, they took some pretty good damage here, but thanks to Matrona and her passive, we just heal everything back, which is insane. Here we just kill this Mono first, because her AoE is the strongest. And we still have Matrona, so Roxy will focus on Matrona with a single target and every other unit as well. Which is very good. The only unit that doesn't focus on her is that green unit. I always forget her name. This one. But yeah, you just want to get the ultimate now, guys. So let's get the ultimate from Meliodas. That's the best thing you can do, guys. But the problem is... If she has... A rank 2, that's why I was uh, waiting here. If she has a rank 2 AoE, she can remove the ultimate move gauge. And I think she had a rank 2 AoE. Yeah, she had. So we lost uh, the ultimate, which means next turn we're gonna lose Matrona.
So this is where I started to go crazy actually. <laughs> the moment I saw this, that we didn't kill and that she had rank 2 AOE, I was so pissed that I would have to restart everything again. But yeah, I wasn't even gonna do it, so I was just gonna use another team at the end then. It doesn't even matter. If you can use seven teams, you will still get a very high points, which is enough. It's just a shame for the chests. If you can't kill with three teams, you won't have that 20 gems extra. And that's what's pretty unfortunate, but it doesn't matter. So here we're gonna kill everyone and heal a bit back. Especially with our Demon King and Purgatory Melee, they have to finish with max health. But uh, like I said, if you still have Purgatory Melee and the Demon King, you will win guys. The Demon King is such, such an insane unit, especially with Purgatory Melee. You just don't want them to focus on the Demon King. You will have to restart. And you don't want that. Of course here Purgatory Melee takes the most damage. But it doesn't matter because he cleanses, he's the one that cleanses, so that's actually perfect. So here, attack again with the single target from Purgatory Melee first. And then you attack with Demon King and maybe the AoE from Meliodas as well. If you're not sure, you can kill, but as you can see, it was more than enough. So here, we will have to start healing with the Demon King so we can finish this team with having max health on the Demon King, so it doesn't die. He was a tax shield here, which is pretty annoying. But it doesn't matter because here it would get his cleanse and his buff and the rank up on its cards. So we can kill anyone we want here and we're gonna kill this Merlin. We actually want cards from Purgatory Melee, but like you see here, I'm not even gonna get any. So I can't even heal with Purgatory Melee. Luckily Melaskela did die here and we did get one at least card from Melee so we can heal. I was scared that Melee wasn't gonna heal fully. So I just did the single target, but actually I could have killed here with the ultimate. Because Mali has pretty much max health. As you can see. But yeah, it doesn't matter. And now we didn't even get any melee cards. <laughs> so yeah. Here we can kill and then we'll move to the next team. And like I said, they're insane. These two units, if they stay alive at max health here, they can finish off this last team with ease. Especially once the Demon King is buffed, his AoE and the single target just can actually wipe any unit. Which is pretty good. Of course he's gonna use the Infect card first turn, so he can't heal, but Mali will always be able to heal once he gets his cleanse and buff. So here we use two AoEs, one from Mali first to break that shield, and then the Infect card from the Demon King. Here you have to be lucky, guys. If they kill the Demon King, it might be over. You might have to run another team again for this last team. But uh, I was pretty lucky. They just used regular single targets, no rank 2s, which was very good. 
And actually the Demon King is so insane, he can kill pretty much any unit once he's buffed, as you can see. We almost killed Philo as well with a rank 1 single target. But yeah, here it's pretty much over. Nanashi is gone, their basic stats are gone. So now it's over. We can't attack here with Meli. Meli died here because he was, but uh, the Demon King is way too strong. So we just kill Filio here, then we're gonna focus on one of the other units and it will be over. Demon King is unstoppable once he got his buff. So we were pretty lucky. She has the ultimate, so we're just gonna kill her, or else we might lose. The thing is, guys, you want to kill them before they can use the ultimate, especially this Echidna here. She's really annoying. Here she got the ultimate, and if I don't kill her, she will ult and I will lose. But uh, rank one single target, guys, without having her units beside her, it just killed. So we managed to finish it. Pretty good and pretty fast. The only thing that I had to restart 14 times was the Myel team. Very easy clear with these teams. And next week it's even gonna be easier than this week. Three buffed units on three different teams. That's so clutch. We could have done it with three teams, but unfortunately on the tier team that the Yan got the ultimates and we just got wiped. I hope this helped you guys out so you know pretty much what to do on which units and which teams and what to focus on. But it's actually not that hard this time. It was a lot harder when there was only one buffed unit. And that was it for the video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like, subscribe and click on the notification bell. See you next time. Peace out. Yeah.